Good morning, folks. We've got weather, earthquake news, tier one animations of Jupiter and the cosmos, but we are starting, as always, with our star over at spaceweathernews.com. We're staring down a blank disc, typical of sunspot minimum, coronal holes departing with a chance for their solar wind to affect Earth in the next 24 hours. Left side brightness could be another active region ready to crest into view. Stepping back and seeing the full sphere in 211 angstroms reveals the departure of the coronal holes to the right, with visibility of the large northern polar opening as well. Top space weather news today is the electron flux. We are at a year-long high at the moment. It's a low-level electron storm that has been persisting for a few days now. If we go one level higher, the satellite risk would go through the roof. Let's kick off terrestrial coverage with some good news. Forecasts for that system tracking towards Hawaii have now got it going north of the islands. That would be good. We'll update again in a few days. Meanwhile, December-like temperatures have rolled into western Canada and spilled southward as a blizzard struck portions of the northern states as well. The lack of rain in California and the water usage in the region is drawing down so much ground content that it's sinking. While this does create temporary stability with less weight on the fault, eventually the upward push from the other plate below it would overcome that weakening suppression. Incredible animation using deep penetrating radar on Jupiter's great red spot. In addition to being able to diagnose the pressure, temperature, and chemistry at depth through the thick clouds, they have detected a strong water vapor signature in the region. Video and explanatory article are linked for you below. Up next, we're going back in time but long before modern galaxy formation all the way to the early monsters that often contained numerous nursery groups and incredible star formation potential. Alma has captured one of those monsters deep in the distance of space, a grandfather of modern-day galaxies. By the way, Nature also put out an intriguing gravity problems piece, good intro into how little we actually know about it. Last but not least, we are heading out to Eta C. The story here is again the high activity of formation in the zone. Dust and gases illuminated by the young stars they're shrouding while other dust structures appear dark and cold. Gorgeous 3D fly into the nebula. Folks, there are just two days left to pre-order the second edition of our textbook. The price does go up 30% in September. There is always free shipping in the continental United States and if you plan to get the book, it really makes no sense to wait and pay more otf.cells.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.